Hey guys, welcome back to the Mega YouTube channel. Just finished testing the Horta Bloom Mega Eco 720. It's their basically their commercial light with the best bang for buck on their website. Very good value for money. The 720 watt light is $549, which is outstandingly good value for a light of this size and of this quality of construction. So let's take a look and see if it really is good value for money. So it's in a format we're all pretty familiar with. This is a foldable LED bar light. We've got four bars on each side, spaced to distribute the light intensity as evenly as possible over the grow area. It's a big fixture physically. It's about 1.1 meters by 1.1 meters or three and a half by three and a half feet in size. Fits neatly into a five by five, which is what it's specified for. Driver is mounted on the back. It's a Powerland driver, with all the requisite um, tests and uh, certifications uh, for a driver this size. Got the onboard dimming, where you can adjust from 20% up to 100% in increments uh, of 20%. There are daisy chain dimming connections or J12 connectors, so you can daisy chain and link multiple units uh, together and control them simultaneously. From an LED and spectrum point of view, the fixture is a mixture of neutral white Samsung LEDs along with 660 nanometer deep reds and also has this infrared switch. So you can divert um, up to about 20% of the power to far red by flicking this switch and that changes the spectrum um, significantly. You see here, I tested the spectrum with the far red switch off first, and then switched the far red switch, and then tested again. And you can see that large spike on the right hand side between 700 and 730 nanometers. That's for the uh, additional far red, which people would use in the flowering stage. The LEDs are also protected from dirt and dust. They've got a plastic covering over them, um, which means that they are totally sealed up. This will help um, keep the LEDs protected and ensure the maximum possible lifespan. The fixture is specified for a five foot by five foot or 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter area. That's what I tested it in. I dropped it into the test area with the silver mylar walls around all sides. The fixture is recommended for two foot hanging height, but I found I could drop it a little bit lower than that. So I tested it at 40 centimeters um, or about 15, 16 inches from the um, underside of the light to the top of the test plane. I then took 100 power measurements with the spot on quantum sensor to determine the total spread of power over the target area. I did this without the far red switch on, so uh, measuring just the photons within the power range from 400 to 700 nanometers. I took 100 power measurements across the test area with the spot on quantum sensor to determine the total spread of power and the average power across the uh, simulated plant canopy. The average power was 669 micromoles per meter square per second and the consumed watts was 714 watts. Though so I calculated the system efficiency, see, that is the total power output by the fixture reaching the plant canopy divided by the power consumed is 2.11 um, micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt, which is a good system efficiency for a fixture at this price point. So overall, very well built, um, solidly constructed fixture from Horta Bloom with all of the features that you want for a commercial operation. Um, good efficiency, uh, excellent full spectrum with the added feature of having the far red switch where you can dedicate 20% of the fixture output um, to far red for the stages of growth that you wish to do so. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Take care.